we are going to continue with operations with vectors and we are going to focus now on multiplying a vector by a scalar. You will find this on page 586 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Multiplying a vector by a scalar. Quantities which have only magnitude such as distance, mass and speed are called scalar quantities. Quantities which have both magnitude and direction such as velocity, force and acceleration are called vector quantities. When we multiply a vector by a scalar, it is called scaling a vector because we change how big or small the vector is. Let's look at an example. This is vector A. Okay, we can even write it down. It's also there. So if I look at vector A, it's going to be, it's 4, 2. That's in terms of a column vector. If we multiply it by 2, we're actually going to take the 2 and multiply it with the, the horizontal as well as the vertical movement. So we're going to get 8 and 4. So this is going to be 8 and 4. And this is the vector of 2a. So to multiply a vector by a scalar, multiply the horizontal distance x, the top, and the vertical distance y, the bottom, by the scalar number. Okay, what do we do if we divide a vector by 2? This was multiply, this is divide. To divide a vector, we multiply by its reciprocal. Because actually, if you're going to say what is the reciprocal of 2, it's going to be a half. So it's like multiplying A by a half. And if we do that, let's just move it up. There you can see it better. So if I multiply by a half, it's going to be a half of 4, which is 2, and a half of 2, which is 1. And if we draw it, it's just going to be 2 and 1. And that is half A. That is 2A. Let's continue. So scalar multiplication is equal to parallel vectors. Let's just go back. Can you see that this vector is parallel to this? Not equal, they are just parallel. Okay, can you see the direction? They are the same, but the one is bigger or smaller. Okay, in this case smaller and in this case bigger. Scalar multiplication generates new vectors that are parallel to the original vector. So two vectors are parallel if one is a scalar multiple of the other one. Okay, for, ex for example, C, um, if I do, and D, if I'm going to say, okay, if I multiply 2, negative 2, and I multiply, I get negative 2 and 6. So C is parallel to D. It just lies in the opposite direction and is twice as long. So the direction doesn't have to be the same. It can also be the opposite direction. Okay. Uh, let's look at this example. State which of the following pair of vectors are parallel. So if we look at this one, so... Let's just mark the highlighter and it's not going to move, okay? So if we look at this one, we are just going to say this can be written as, see if you can take out a common factor. So in this case, I take out 3, and if I take it out, 3 it becomes 2, 3 divided 3 is 1. And if I see that the original vectors are the same, then I can say they are parallel. Okay, so they are parallel. If I look at this one, um, so what can I take out? Negative 4, so it's 3 and negative 2, so they are also parallel. If I take this one, uh, it stays, um, I cannot take out anything, so this is not parallel. And if I look at this one, I can take out some um, 2 out of the front one, 3 out of the, the uh, this one, the back one, and then I see again I get the original vector that's the same, and then they are also parallel. Okay, so in this case, uh, stop the video and do try now 23. Number one, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Let's look at number A. So let's look at A, if I look at the first one, 
a, the vector will be 9 and 3 and 3 and 1. Okay, so if I look at this one, now let's start. I can take out, let's keep it in blue, I can take out the 3. So what will it be? 9 divided 3 is 3 and 1. And I again have, if I look at this one, also 3 and 1. So this two, therefore, they are parallel. That's A. Let's continue to the next one, B. So in this case, it's going to be 5 and 2 and negative 5 and negative 2. So if I look at this one, I can keep it 5 and 2. Can you see? This one, leave this one 5 and 2. And now at this one, take out the common factor of negative 1. So if I divide by that, I will get 5 and I will get 2. Can you see that the original ones are the same? So therefore, the vectors are parallel. Let's look at the next one. Uh, so this one will be 4 and 10. And 3 and 5. <clears throat> let's see what can I take out. I can take out in this one. I can't, okay, let's just do it. Take out the 2. Then I'm going to be 2 and 5. But if you look at this one, the original one, can you see this is 2 and there is a 3. So therefore it's not parallel. Okay, then we can look at number D. So this is going to be negative 9 and 4 and 9 and negative 4. Okay, let's just move it up. Oh, that one is not so nice. Let me just make it nice. Okay, and if I move it up, um, I can again, uh, I don't think it's going to work in, in, in this case. Okay, let's just see. This is negative 9 and 4. Um, and this one is going to, let's see if I take out a negative 1. So negative 9... Leave this one. And take out a negative 1. So if I take out, this is going to become negative 9, and this is going to become 4. So we can also say the vectors are parallel. Okay, and then the next one, um, so let's just do, that's number D, and now it's number E. Let's just write it down first. 1 and 7, and negative 3 and negative 21. So in this case, let's leave the 1 and the 7. I'm just going to move this a little bit. And let's take out 3, negative 3. Let's take out negative 3. Just have to rewrite that. And then this is going to become 1, because negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1. Negative 21 divided by negative 3 is going to be 7. And if you check again, this is going to be the same. So therefore, Parallel vectors. Okay, the pen is not working so nice. Okay, 
And then the last one, the last one is number F. And this is going to be 6 and 8. And negative 9. I just want to rewrite that one. Negative 9 and 12. Okay, and then if you take out, so in this case, let's take out 2. Let's see what's happening. And then it's going to become 3 and 4. Take it out as a common factor. And in this case, um, uh, we can take out negative 3 uh, or just 3. doesn't matter because that sign is already different. So this is going to be then negative 3. Let's just get that one correct. Negative 3. And this is going to be 4. Oh, so what's the problem? Can you see? This one is negative and this one is possible, or positive. So therefore, not parallel. The signs must be the same. So if this one is negative, then this one must also be negative. Okay. So there is standing not parallel. Let's just see if it's coming going through. Don't look like it wants to go through. So there, not parallel. Okay, and that's how you just, so always just take out a common factor and then compare the ones staying inside of the brackets, the column vectors. And if it's exactly the same, the sign as well as the number, then it's parallel. If it's not exactly the same, like in this case, it's not parallel.